Hi guys, my name is Tanya and this is The Tazzle Show and today, because I'm sure you all have heard by now, Adventure Time is going to get its own movie. I'm going to celebrate by doing an Adventure Time mathematical facts. Not actual maths. That's one of the sayings of the show. Don't, please don't go, it's not actual maths. I'm sorry. Still here? Good. Let's get down to it, shall we? Marceline and her father in the show are actually voiced by Olivia Olsen and Martin Olsen, who are actually father and daughter in real life. Olivia Olsen was actually the girl in Love Actually who sings All I Want For Christmas Is You. How cool is that? In case you didn't know, um, look out for it now. There is a hidden waving snail in every single episode of, of Adventure Time. There are lots of clues in Adventure Time that the whole thing takes place after a huge apocalyptic nuclear war. Uh, in the opening sequence, there are scraps of technology, and you see that in the episodes as well. Technology scraps everywhere. A lot of the creatures have mutations, and the fact that Finn is the last human being. It's kind of sad. Magically sad. Jake's parents, Joshua and Margaret, upon finding Finn in the middle of a forest, on a leaf, didn't know what to call him, so they named him Finn, because in Spanish, Finn means the end. So this kind of signifies that Finn is the last human being. Nice way to delicately remind him, you're the only one left. Yay. Finn is most likely inspired by Bueno the Bear, one of Pendleton Ward's earliest creations. Uh, it's said that they share a lot of personality traits, but they also do look quite similar as well. And this might have been confirmed in an episode in season 5 called Little Dude, when Finn needs a new hat and Jake says they must go and skin an evil bear. That could have been a reference to Bueno. The show's creator, Pendleton Ward, voices Lumpy Space Princess, who he says he is quite embarrassed at how much he relates towards. I think that's quite cute. He's my favourite. Apparently his favourite character is Bebo. He's a pretty cool too. Lady Rainicorn speaks Korean, but in the Korean dub, she speaks English. Both she and Bimo are voiced by the same person who's Nikki. Yang. John DiMaggio, who voices Jake, also voiced Bender in Futurama, which shouldn't have been cancelled. It's really cool because in an episode of Futurama, I think Leela and the Greenstalk, Bender actually meets Finn and Jake locked up inside a dungeon. And Jake actually says to him, What time is it? And Bender replies, Time for you to shut up. The episode Fiona and Kate came about because of the sci-fi fantasy rule of Rule 63 which states that for every given male character there is a female version of that character, hence Fiona and Kate. The only person who did not have a gender swap was Bimo, who can apparently change gender at will. Which is cool. I wish I could do that. Oh no, actually. The writers of Adventure Time play little games to help them write and develop characters. So they do one where they have two minutes to draw a picture and then the person next to them has two minutes to write uh, the first act and then out of all 30 to 40 results that are made up, maybe only one will make it into a full episode. Oof, that's harsh. It takes about nine months for one episode of Adventure Time to be created. But most episodes do overlap, so that's good. But apparently most of the jokes that are nixed by the network are actually fart jokes. The Ice King loves penguins so much that he even has one tattooed on his butt cheek. While the show is in development, Nickelodeon actually passed up on Adventure Time twice. But Cartoon Network got it in the end. Nickelodeon, you've missed out. Finn and Princess Bubblegum actually share the same birthday, June 18th. Princess Bubblegum can speak German and Turkish. I'm impressed. And finally, it looks like Jake is running around naked all the time, but actually he wears transparent pants made from spider webs spun by pixies. I don't believe that, do you? I think he's just naked. But this has been fun learning more about Adventure Time, don't you think? 
let me know down below and if you know of any more Adventure Time facts I'd be happy to hear them so just post them down below I'm sure there are loads more but I thought I'd keep the video relatively short but um, I'd be happy to do another one of these infotainment videos so if there's anything else you'd like me to look into and we can learn about together that would be great um, suggestions down below but thanks for joining me for this please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another adventure time no another tangible time bye